What is up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about ChatGPT. And if you don't know what this is, it's basically a new uh, AI system, which allows you to say like, uh, send it some information and it will write you like an essay. So let's say, write me a essay about Minecraft Bedrock. Okay, I uh, don't even have to spell it all the way. but it's going to write you an entire essay about Minecraft Bedrock, which is very, very cool. So if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it basically has so many use cases and it's like just insanely good. But in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can use ChatGPT to write you your own code and to write and help you write uh, code for game test in uh, just scripting API. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be plugging in some code into ChatGPT and we are going to use ChatGPT's advanced and like smart features to help us write and improve our code for Minecraft Bedrock. So um, let's actually just hop right into it. So if you don't already know what this is, this is my RubyDoe. Um, uh, Rubido is a anti-cheat for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And if you don't know what this is, uh, no worries, we're not even going to be coding in it, we're just going to be looking at some of the files and seeing what we can improve in our code. So let's say we already have a chess GUI system. So if we hop into the index file for this, you can see this is where most of the code gets ran and where most of the stuff happens. So if we go into the entity chest, um, don't worry about looking at any of this code. I just need to find any spot where we can like improve our code or spots where we just don't think it's that good. So let's say we hop into the, uh, let's hop into the database files. So in this database, we can see, let's let's move this down. You can see this is the database for RubyDoe. It's very, very complex and it's very, very uh, useful. So let's say we don't even wanna look at this. We just copy and paste it. We're gonna say, hey, ChatGPT, can you write me a improved version of this database system? And we're gonna put these little uh, quote things. We're gonna write TS because I'm writing in TypeScript. You don't even need to do this, but I like doing it just so ChatGPT knows what we're using. And uh, if you are using JavaScript, then instead of .ts, you're gonna do .js. But I'm doing TypeScript, so I'm gonna do TS. Um, so we're just going to wrap our code in that, and then we're going to send. So it's going to read the code, and it's going to say, boom, here's an improved version of the database system. And it will instantly start writing. So as you can see, it is uh, using all the right stuff. You can see Minecraft server. It's grabbing the same config items, um, important dimension, doing all this stuff. So let's see what it gets. And it looks like it's so, we're using the create entities table. So if we look at our own code, um, the create entities table looks like it hasn't really changed at all. Okay. Uh, get all table entities. Let's see what it does here. It might not change anything here, but it's looking like it might start changing what, how we actually save data because there is some improvements we can do with this. Um, with, we could compile the, uh, the data and stuff like that for a more, oh, looks like it's creating a queue array. Okay. Um, oh, so they've created a whole, whole queue system. That might be a little good, maybe I should add. So basically it's going to run through all this stuff and it's going to generate the code. So I will get you guys back once it's done. Okay, so it's not done. But you might think it's done by looking at it just stop generating. So this is a problem with ChatGPT. It's not really a problem, but uh, ChatGPT only generates for a minute straight. And if you wanted to generate longer, simply continue. And if you just write continue, it's going to start writing the code, but not in code form. So we want to say continue in code form. So boom, we're going to say continue in code form. And it's going to start. It's going to look back as look back on the logs and see what's going on. So it should start typing it back in code form. If you do just write continue, um, 
well, it looks like it didn't do it right. But usually if you just write continue, it's just going to write it like this, which we don't want it to write like this, but I guess it's fine. Uh, that's why we say continue in code form. Usually it works. Uh, there we go. Now it starts working. Um, but it's going to write our code back in code form. And basically it's going to fix some of the code problems in our code. So this isn't really the only use case of ChatGPT. So I'm just going to stop the the writing of that but basically we can regenerate and fix mostly any problems in our entire code space for Minecraft Bedrock obviously this isn't just Minecraft Bedrock related but I like to show you guys what you can actually do because it knows so much it knows everything about chat it knows everything about Minecraft Bedrock even though it might not know uh, up to 2021 you can actually give it docs so if I go into the uh, documentation and I want to give it documentation. So let's say, uh, let's say here's the updated world class. And if I grab it from the actual file, so if I go into node modules, Minecraft server, index.ts, if I give it all of this data, it will actually be able to write anything for me. But you don't even need to give it to it because it basically knows what it's doing without it. But it does help. Uh, if you want more exact definitions so let's say um we're creating some sort of some sort of i bet i bet it can improve this function let's see sort 3d vectors let's see if it can improve it i bet it can uh improve this function okay let's see what it does here's an improved version of the function sort 3d vectors max okay let's see if it can do anything So we did get this from <laughs> Mr. Patches. Let's see if it does. Let's see if it works. Okay. It might. It might improve in all this, because that would be beneficial. Because this function is kind of slow. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Patches. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what he can do. Return min max actor. Boom. There we go. That is. This new version uses built-in min math function to determine the minimum max function axis making it more concise and readable additionally the names variable were changed uh to clarify it. okay uh can you make this more uh or can you make this faster let's say that the function i provided already uses the built-in minimaf and math functions which highly optimize and efficient so it's already running optimal speed so there we go we have the fastest possible function for the sort the 3d vectors so what we're going to do, we're going to paste this right into here. And let's say the author, chat GPT, because we didn't write this. <laughs> uh, we're just going to remove that. Okay. So basically, boom, we have a new minimap function. And it works way better than that old function. So we can do this for basically anything. So let's say, boom, pop in this between vectors three. So can you improve this function? Okay, we're going to pop that in. We we'll say here's an improved version of the function. And boom, there's a, a new between vector three functions. So this new function is more readable, self documenting because it uses names and variables to indicate the purpose. Also, limits the un unnecessary destructing of the minimax vectors which will make it more efficient and faster. Boom. So automatically, I've just created two new functions with ChatGPT, and I've extremely improved the efficiency of RubyDo, like instantly like that, which is very, very cool. So now, uh, let's say I want to create some pull requests. We're going to say, look what we did. We're going to say this new version of the function. Uh, so let's go into GitHub. We're going to say rewrote sort vectors free. Ugh re wrote sort vectors three and we we also made improved performance and between vectors three and boom i can just copy and paste this and let's just say boom i just made a new faster script and we can co commit that straight to main which will automatically improve our code which is just way way better um for 
Minecraft Bedrock Edition because you you always want to have the fastest code for your game because game test is already slow itself. So when you give it slow code, it's just going to make it slower and slower. So let's see actually if we can improve this function because I haven't really made this because this is an old function. So let's say, can you improve? Oh, improve this function. Okay, so we're going to give it the function. We're going to pass that in and boom, enter. And we're going to see what it can do. So here's an improved version of the function. Okay, so it looks like boom is automatically writing out the durations, which is honestly a good addition because I should be doing that. So duration can split. Okay, let's see what this does. Uh, okay. Rejix matching. This might be like an insanely improved version. Holy crap. Uh, wow. Eliminates the use of if else statements using an object to store the duration unit version. Make it readable, maintain efficiency. Also, function throws an error when the unit is not found in the durations object, providing a clear error message for the user. Additionally, the use of destructuring assignment to extract a number and unit from the string value makes the code more concise. Okay. That actually looks a lot better. Holy crap. I should be doing that. Whoa. Okay, let's copy that in. So there we go. Like... Uh, in this short amount of time, I'm just plugging stuff into here, not even thinking, not even doing anything. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, oh, let's, let's, and boom, let's give it this error right here. So let's see if we can fix it. You are getting this error because types of compiler is checking the object durations has a property with the name unit, but it doesn't know the type of the object. To solve this, you need to find the type of object to be in the exchange, like this. Okay, boom. And it will fix the bug right there. So simply, I can just copy this into here. Okay. And we do durations. We go boom. And there we go. There we go. And that is a fully fixed duration converter, which is a, which improves the speed of um, this, which obviously makes Rubido faster and can make your own script API faster. So hopefully you enjoyed this video um, and show you some use cases where you can use ChatGPT and uh, you can use it to fix. Oh, well, it looks like it's creating an ear numb now. Uh, or you can use, you know, this way you can use it. Right. Okay. Maybe I should use that. Okay, but yeah. Uh, and yeah, so this is how you can use ChatGPT to improve your game test code. And it should be more beneficial and it will help you out a lot more. So if you need more help, um, also, if you ever need help with Bedrock Scripting API, make sure you are in this Discord. Um, okay, we got a little money. Okay, make sure in this Discord because this is the one spot where you can get Bedrock Scripting API help. The link will be in the description. If you do need the link right here, it'll be uh, this link right here. So make sure you join the Discord if you do need any help with Bedrock Scripting API because it's very important to use Bedrock Scripting API and being in a community that can help you out. And uh, it just shows you announcements and bugs and stuff which you wouldn't be able to see by yourself. So. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment and see what we can do to improve. So I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.